go right to that? Here's the next one. And by the way, as we're going through this, and it's making you think, God, that reminds me of, I remember when I was a kid, write me. Write me. Tell me about it. Write me a letter. I want to, I'd love to see it and love to hear it. Because our stories are one thing. Your stories are very, very important. Road trips. How many people travel with their family? How many people have done the road trip? Yeah. Okay. Probably the same number of people. Now, road trips can be a lot of fun. And we have loved it. Absolutely loved it. So we live up in Ontario, and we come down in order to see my brother and my sister-in-law, who's in the audience today, and we will travel. And, you know, that's about 18 hours of solid driving. You know, we'll stop a little bit, and, and we'll enjoy it. And we'll enjoy it because it has been a gathering time for us. It's been a way of our being able to congregate as a family. Suddenly, we have 18 hours together, isolated from everyone else, but they're very specific. And we play lots of music. We sing tons and tons of songs. We've got games going on all the time. We have a, a book that we'll bring, and we'll start reading it, and everyone will read a piece out of that book, and we'll pass the book around. And for the, the most obvious question, obviously, is that we don't do that for the driver. We ask the driver to kind of keep their eyes on the road. But by the time we're done the trip, we're pretty well finished that book, and everyone's been listening to it. It's been fantastic. So, you know, we'll do the I Spy games, Inside Out game, we'll do all of that. I remember uh, hearing a, a comedian on stage one point in time, he was talking about doing the I Spy game when he was up in space. And <laughs> I Spy with my little eye, something that is, and his co-pilot saying, space. Yes, how'd you get that? The co-pilot said, can we at least try to do something inside this time? <laughs> it's pretty predictable on the outside. So we would play these games all the time. And the road trip, in fact, became our way, as I said, of being able to get to know one another again. And we looked forward to it. Okay? So, a couple of key things. It's not a NASCAR race. I am fascinated when I hear, especially men, unfortunately, They'll race up to Ontario and say, man, it took me 14 hours and 36 minutes, and they didn't pee once. <laughs> and I look at the kids, and I look at his wife, and I say, boy, they didn't have fun. That's not fun. That's not a fun giving family. It's not an ask race. Enjoy it. Build in that time. If they want to stop, and, <laughs> and they want to be able to look at the Hartman Bridge yet one more time, Oh, Dad, I'm going to stop there again. Oh, it's the longest bridge in the world. Got to see that thing. <laughs> but if you want to stop and do that, you do that. If you want to spend an extra hour and have a picnic on the side of the, the river, fantastic, do that. You know, so it's important. It's not a NASCAR race. It's meant to be enjoyable. The next thing is take a, pack a plan. Don't go there and just wing it. As a family, pack a plan. Pack the book. Pack things that you're going to do. So the, the next thing is pack your enthusiastic attitude. Don't go there on a road trip or a plane trip or anything like that and assume that oh, this is going to be hard, arduous. If it is, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and it'll be hard and it'll be arduous. If you go in there with that attitude, this is going to be enjoyable. It will be. We had a great trip. We came down this past summer and then we all went down to Portland and Bangor and watched my niece play basketball. Absolutely fantastic. But we loved every minute of that trip. Probably one of the better trips we've ever had because we spent a lot of time together as an entire large family. Consider, if it's done well, you're sowing relationships between, and sowing the seeds of relationships between the children that will reap in a bond for their lives together as adults. See, one of the things that you'll hear me talk about in a second is that we are replaceable. For those people who are uncles and aunts or mothers or fathers, we're replaceable. Ultimately, what we're attempting to do is carve relationships for them that will last for their lives together. And that's one of the things that those road trips will help with. 